now we'll discuss defense technology so for the past 9 years there have been no question from defense technology so this is literally not so important but as it is upsc we can't say this year maybe the question can pop up so defense technology if you consider defense technology the focus areas are by considering the previous year question papers the focus areas are missiles types ballistic missile cruise missile difference multilateral exchange control regimes nsg mtcr westerners group australia group etc you should focus that next is very important it has not been asked in previous years integrated guided missile development plan which i'll be discussing now so missile types important different types of missiles for example astra which type shaurya which type nirphai which type of missile that kind of questions can be expected and whether the missile is a ballistic missile or cruise missile that kind of questions can be expected and difference between ballistic and cruise missile can be expected then multilateral exchange control regime like nsg mtcr westerners australian group etc can be expected and very very important historic aspect are integrated guided missile development program is important questions can be expected so moving on see first i'll explain what is integrated guided missile development program see soon after we got independence we focused on the particular kind of missile development see earlier we had project called as project valiant etc all these projects were unsuccessful or failure projects so the government has come up with a new project in 1980-83 called as integrated guided missile development program and it was headed by dr apj abdul kalam he is the person who is in the back end to develop our first missile or like forefront he was in the forefront in developing our first missile that is prithvi so in 1983-84 the government has come up with a new program called as igmdp and what was the objective of that program was to develop five missiles patna missiles the code is patna prithvi agni trishul nag akash in that prithvi and agni are ballistic missile i'll explain to you what is ballistic trishul and nag are cruise missile and nag is an anti tank missile anti tank missile so prithvi missile i have given the details ballistic missiles and cruise missile i'll explain to you so see during the post independence consolidation period if you consider the winners of the world war were the usa and ussr and there was a block kind of thing that is western block and eastern block and cold war started and they started the so called arms race arms race they collected maximum number of weapons and in order to make or instill fear among themselves they like launched missiles cuban missile crisis there whenever there were there was a war they interfered okay and they exploration they started exploring the space as well as they uh, focus much on developing this missile so they started arms race arms arms race it is called as arms race so at that time itself india also started developing this missiles so all our initial missile programs were unsuccessful finally we succeeded in integrated guided missile development program it is headed by dr apj abdul kalam that is why he is known as the missile man of india important so integrated guided missile five missiles you should know now i will be explaining prithvi see prithvi is a short range surface to surface missile trishul is a short range surface to air missile agash is a medium range surface to air missile nag is a third generation anti tank missile agni is a like igmdp later it is transferred from igdmp due to its strategic importance okay so that is important agni one agni three agni series we have so we'll be discussing ballistic missile and cruise missile see what is your general understanding about ballistic and cruise missile it can be asked okay see ballistic missile are surface to surface missile ballistic missiles are surface to surface missile so they move in which shape arch shape manner projectile they work in a projectile manner or an arch shape manner they are surface to surface missile and see the missile has got an initial phase traveling phase re entry phase this missile travel beyond the atmosphere and it enters the exosphere okay 
that is significant it enters the exosphere okay and re enter back to the atmosphere so these missiles are surface to surface missile very important and coming on to this is ballistic coming on to cruise missile cruise missile they are surface to air missile in order to target an aerial object they are surface to air missile or air to air missile and see their motion will be in a zigzag manner their motion will be in a zigzag manner and if it is to be deployed from a air we need what aircrafts so aircraft use will be sukhoi or something sukhoi aircraft for example okay so in ballistic missile we have surface to surface missile that is they travel beyond the atmosphere and enters the exosphere and comes back to the surface and hit the surface so they are called as ballistic missile prithvi and agni example and cruise missiles are surface to air missile or air to air missile they moves in a zigzag manner most importantly all the uh, like what all their travel is within the atmosphere they won't enter the exosphere very important they won't be entering the exosphere and we have another type of missile called as hybrid missile example for hybrid missile do you know any example like we have only one hybrid missile india very very important have you heard about shaurya shaurya missile see shaurya is an hybrid missile which means that they moves in surface to surface manner surface to surface which means that they have got the feature of ballistic missile but their entire operation within the atmosphere this is atmospheric boundary the entire movement or like traveling is within the atmosphere that is what feature that is a cruise missile feature so it is a combination of ballistic plus cruise so the missile is known as a hybrid missile which one is our only hybrid missile shaurya very important shaurya very important and prithvi in patna series prithvi agni ballistic missile akash trishul cruise missile tank is nag see it moves in a shape of a serpent that is why the name uh, nag okay see i have given it here and i have given the classification of ballistic missile that is short range ballistic missile medium range ballistic missile intermediate range ballistic missile intercontinental ballistic missile okay short range see this is the range range okay we have short range medium range intermediate range intercontinental ballistic missile moving forward we have cruise missile i have explained what is cruise missile here also classification is there cruise missile are classified based on their speed okay speed is measured on mac mac speed so we have hypersonic missile example brahmos 2 we have supersonic missile brahmos we have subsonic missile for example nirbhay and all so hypersonic above mac 5 supersonic 2 to 3 subsonic 0.8 this is the classification of ballistic and cruise missiles questions can be expected but for the past 10 years like 9 to 10 years there have been no questions from defense and technology but this year most probably probability is there questions can be expected so this is cruise missile and ballistic missile integrated guided missile development program i also explained that and see next is air breathing system we have ramjet scramjet and dual mode ramjet see these are air breathing system how they take atmosphere like how they take oxygen from the atmosphere is and it is compressed is dependent on the breathing system see ramjet engine is a form of air breathing dutch engine that uses the vehicle's forward motion to compress incoming air and combustion without a rotating compressor that is important see technical aspect you don't have to study and scramjet is an engine it is an improvement version of ramjet so that it works under supersonic speed it is called supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet and it uses hydrogen as a fuel and the oxygen from the atmospheric air is used as the oxidizer and we have dual mode ramjet it is a type of jet engine where a ramjet transform into a scramjet over a mac 4 to 8 range dual mode okay dual mode which means it can efficiently operate both in subsonic and supersonic combustor modes so ramjet scramjet important questions can be expected moving forward see important missiles first is agni okay agni missiles questions can be expected 
See, Akash next generation and Akash prime, similarly Akni prime is important. See, you have to refer this. We have smart missile, Pralai. Questions was there. Pralai missile, Pralai. It is a ballistic missile. See, this is ASAT, okay. ASAT. And is ASAT. Okay, ASAT. And is satellite. It is otherwise known as? Mission Shakti. It is not Operation Shakti. Pokhran 2 is called as Operation Shakti. This is called as Mission Shakti. And Nag, we have Helena Namika versions. That is also important. And INS Vikrant is important. Nirbhai missile, Astra missile, all these missiles are important. So you have to study whether this is a ballistic missile or cruise missile. See, all important missiles that was in news is important. If you look any compilation, you will find that all the important missiles that were in news. All those missiles, what you have to study? First is whether the missile is indigenous or not. For example, Brahmos, which is not an indigenous missile. We have Maitri missile, which is not an indigenous missile. We have several missiles which are not indigenous. For example, Spike missile is there, Barak missile is there. They are all from Israel. We have collaborations with other countries as well as we have indigenous missile. So whenever you get a missile, you have to note that it is an indigenous missile or not. And secondly, is it a ballistic missile or cruise missile? And if any special feature is there for the missile, you should also know, note that. For example, Astra is the smallest missile developed by DRDO. Astra is the smallest missile. That is the significance of the missile. So whether it is a ballistic or cruise, you should know. And next is... Whether it is indigenous or not, you should know. And third is any specific feature or special character is there for the missile, you should also note that. That is with respect to defense technology. Moving on forward, we have health. Okay, health and diseases. Here I have not included much. First is, see, previous year question paper, if you consider, we have vaccines, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, recombinant vector vaccine. This was earlier asked by UPSC, so less chance of asking it now. And diseases, hereditary diseases, vitamin deficiency diseases, all these are important. You have to study, all these are important. And in that, I have included a probable area that is antimicrobial resistance. It was in news for the last one, two years, antimicrobial resistance was in use. You know, it is the ability of a microorganisms to stop an antimicrobial from working against it. As a result, standard treatments become ineffective, infections persist and may spread to others. For example, microorganisms that become resistant to most antimicrobials are referred to as superbugs. Superbugs. You might be knowing superbugs. So it comprises medical procedures such as organ transplantation, cancer, chemotherapy, etc. And carpapenum antibiotics. And it refers to the line of last resort drug used to treat people with life-threatening infections. Okay. Car antibiotics. So just keep a note of this. Antimicrobial resistance is important. Apart from that, all the important diseases that were in news. Which all were they? All important diseases. Ebola was in news. Zika was in news. Monkey fever was in news. Black fever, Nipah, Corona, COVID. All these were in news. You should study that. White fever. All these you should study. Whether it is a viral or a bacterial disease, you should know. And any vector is associated with that disease, you should note that. And which uh, place or like which country is associated with that, you should know. And whether vaccination is available or not, you should know. Very, very important whether vaccination is available or not, you should know. So important diseases, how it is spread, causative agent, vaccination is available or not. That is the significance of diseases. See, I have included because there is a list of diseases. If I start explaining, it will take a lot of time. You may please go through Zika, Ebola, Nipah, this famous uh, like diseases, okay. And hereditary, neglected tropical diseases, all those things can be also expected. Moving on further, see nanotechnology. Nanotechnology. See, nanotechnology, application-based questions can be expected. First is application-based questions. Second is graphene. Okay, graphene is again important. And nano-related terminologies like nanotubes, some terms associated with nano can also be asked. So, application-based question, what is graphene? What is nano-related technologies can be asked? Example, nanotubes was once asked. Moving on further, See, examples on applications of nanotechnology I have given here. For example, electrons, we have graphene. Energy, we have lower cost, produce a stronger and lighter kind of thing. And biomedicine, neurodegenerative diseases, it can be used as a treatment. Environment, air purification can be 
an application. Food biosensors, nano biosensors are there in textile industry. See, they can ask you which one of the following are the applications of nanotechnology. See, all these are applications, questions can be expected, important. Moving on further, see probable areas. See, all the topics I have classified into focus areas and probable areas. In probable areas, graphene was once asked. Okay, graphene was once asked. Graphene is a substance composed of pure carbon where the length of carbon bond is 0.142 millimeter. The atoms in graphene are arranged in a hexagonal pattern. Okay, important. And the Nobel Prize in Physics for 2010 was given to graphene. Okay, graphene conducts electricity faster than silicon. For that 2D graphene that was awarded with Nobel Prize in 2010, that can be asked. And it also resists temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius. And hence it has become favorably used for ICs and PC boards, IC chips and PC boards. Very important, graphene probable areas can be asked. Okay, probable areas, graphene is important. See, once graphene related question is already asked by UPSC, there are high chances that again that kind of questions can be repeated. Another important aspect is, one is graphene, then terms related with nano, nanotubes, etc. Okay. Moving on further, see basic or daily life science, very, very important. Basic or daily life science related questions can be expected. See basic life science in means physics, chemistry, biology and UPSC's most favorite area is biology. Okay. And most often the computer science background guys feels it very difficult. Okay, but the thing is they are basics. If your background is science, plus two science, it is quite easy. And those who are not comfortable with that, just study this material alone. You have only limited time, so you don't have to worry. Study this material. So basic or daily life science. First is focus areas. See, in biology, questions have been already asked from photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, transpiration kind of thing and all. Trans fats questions was asked, stem cells, vegetative propagation in plants, uh, see it is repeated, difference between bacteria, fungi, virus, adenovirus, retrovirus, what is that, difference between plant cell and animal cells, all these questions were asked. And in physics, regarding the application of ball bearings, water purification system, optical illusions, capillarity, rare earth minerals, see physics and chemistry, CFL, LED lamps, forces of nature, pressure cooker, all these kind of questions was also asked. Okay. And chemistry, last year they asked about triclosan, bisphenol, lemongrass, mosquito repellent, etc. So chemical related, important chemicals in use can be asked in chemistry part and physics part, ball bearings, the application part. Okay. These are the focus areas or already asked areas. Okay. Moving on, we have probable areas. See, first is biology. You know what is cell, nucleus, chromosome, DNA, gene. Okay, this is how it is inside the cell. We have a cell, nucleus is there, chromosome is there, DNA is there and gene. Segment of DNA is called as gene. Very important. And next is difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. See, prokaryotic cells are cells which doesn't have a proper nucleus okay they are not true cells eukaryotic cell at the same time has got a nucleus kind of thing and all the other uh, like parts in the cell components in the cell and see prokaryotic cell we have flagellum ribosome cytoplasm is there we don't have a nucleus there it is nucleoid nucleoid dna plasma membrane is there cell wall is there capsule is there pilus is there this is how a prokaryotic cell looks See, just go through this picture two, three times, okay? You don't have to study. Don't draw and study and all. Just go through this two, three times. And eukaryotic cell, we have nucleus. It has got a proper nucleus. Then cytoplasm is there, cytoskeleton, ribosomes, mitochondria. See, mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Powerhouse of the cell. Lysosome is there, Golgi body is there, endoplasmic reticulum is there. All these are there in a eukaryotic cell. So difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell can be a probable question because last year, 2020, uh, I guess, UPSC asked about the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Similarly, difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell can be expected. Moving on further, see RNA and DNA, basic structure I have given, 
see in RNA we have cytosine, guanine, adenine, instead of thymine we have uracil, RNA, ribonucleic acid, it is single stranded, see it is single stranded. Compared to DNA, when comparing DNA, DNA is double stranded, helix shape and nuclear basis is thymine, adenine, guanine, cytosine. Okay, adenine pairs with thymine, guanine pairs with cytosine, important. Guanine pairs with cytosine and adenine pairs with thymine. Here no thymine, instead of that we have uracil. Okay, we have how many chromosomes, how many pairs? 23 pairs, you know. And see, in females, this X chromosome will be XX. In males, it will be XY. You know, right? So, sex of the child is determined by the father, not by the mother. Okay. XX and XY. Okay, there is a general notion. So, that is why I told you. So, RNA, DNA. Important. Moving on further, difference between animal cell and a plant cell. See, animal cell, we have ribosome. Cell membrane is there, nucleus is there, cytoplasm is there, mitochondria is there. See, they will give you some uh, components and they will ask you which one of the following are present in animal cell. That kind of questions can also be expected. And plant cell, if you consider chloroplast is there, nucleus is there, mitochondria, cell wall or cellulose is there. Cellulose is not there in animal cell. Cell membrane is there, vacuoles are there, cytoplasm is there, ribosome is there. Just compare the two figures. It was asked once, plant cell and animal cell. So this year, high chances that they'll ask about eukaryotic or prokaryotic cell. Anyway, one question from cell, DNA, RNA, basics of biology can be expected. Moving on further, see, cell organelles and their functions. First is cytoplasm. It is a jelly-like fluid that fills up the space between organelles, carries nutrients to all organelles. Cytoplasm, gel-like thing. Mitochondria, structure where energy is produced. It is called as the powerhouse of the cell. Very important powerhouse of the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, complexly folded organelle that is responsible for regulating and producing proteins and other molecules located near the nucleus. Ribosome, protein production site, tiny structure found in the cytoplasm and in endoplasmic reticulum. Nucleus, part of cell that directs all functions of the cell and contains DNA for replication and differentiation. Cell membrane, barrier around an animal cell which allows certain kinds of material in and out of the cell. Golgi bodies, part of cell that process and package lipids and proteins. Golgi bodies, all these are important. This table you have to study. No other way you have to study. Moving on further, see amino acids is converted into proteins. You know, amino acids is converted into proteins. And important proteins and their functions with examples I have given. For example, enzymes. Facilitate biochemical reaction, lactase and pepsin, hormonal messenger proteins that helps to coordinate bodily activities, insulin, oxytocin, structural provide support, structural proteins, keratin and collagen, contractile proteins are there, responsible for the movement, contractile proteins, actin, myosin, transport proteins are there, move molecules from one place to another, hemoglobin, cytochromes, etc. Again, basics of biology you have to study. Okay, types of protein in human body, important. And see, physics, basic physics, electromagnetic spectrum, okay. Increasing frequency, it is arranged, radio, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. Very important and radio waves used to broadcast radio and television. This microwaves used in cooking, infrared transmit heat from sun, fire, radiation, etc. All these important aspects you should know. See, last year, I guess, one question was asked regarding the functioning of pressure cooker. Similarly, functioning of microwave oven or similar questions can be expected or like functioning of refrigerator. Daily life, what we are seeing, their application kind of questions can be expected. Important. Okay, really important. Moving on further, see, optics related questions can be expected. In physics, optics related questions. One is regarding convex lens, concave lens, etc. Next is refraction, reflection, total internal reflection, etc. Tintal effect and all, light effect, tintal effect, that kind of questions can be expected. You should know about it. Moving on further, the last topic of the day, the last topic, uh, awards. Okay, I haven't included so many awards. All the important Nobel Prizes I have included. One is Nobel Prize in Physics 2021. Nobel Prize in Physics 2021. 
it was awarded on behalf of uh, Sikuro Manabek Law Society, not so important. They have laid the foundation of our knowledge of the Earth's climate and how humanity influences it. See, they studied complex systems, complex systems, okay. Nobel Prize in Physics 2021 was awarded to complex systems. See, what is complex system? Complex systems are system composed of many components which may interact with each other. Complex system, they are characterized by randomness and disorder and are difficult to understand. Examples, earth, global climate, it is very difficult to understand. Organisms functioning, difficult to understand. Human brain, very difficult to understand. One complex system of vital importance is earth climate. So, physicists studied complex system. Okay, theory of disordered minerals and random process called complex system and they got Nobel Prize in Physics for the year 2021. So Physics Nobel Prize is for complex system. So you should know what is complex system. Moving on further, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Okay, Nobel Prize in Chemistry, it was awarded primarily. Uh, like the award is no need. And why the award was given? Organocatalysis is a precise new tool for molecular construction. You know what is a catalyst, okay? So in organocatalysis, uh, catalysis, I, I don't know the exact pronunciation. The organic catalysts are used to drive multitudes of chemical reaction. The rapid expansion and the use of organic catalysts is primarily due to their ability to drive asymmetric cat catalysis. So uh, asymmetric uh, catalysis and all is given. So organocatalysis, so that is why the award is given. It is important. And catalyst, their classification and all I have given. We have homogeneous catalyst, heterogeneous catalyst, bio catalyst, and organic catalyst. Examples are given. See, you just go through this material. So, catalyst, okay, okay organic catalysis. That is why chemistry award was given. Important. Physics for complex system. Complex system. So, you have only included science and technology related awards, okay. And next is physiology or medicine. Okay, physiology or medicine. And what is their discovery? Discoveries of receptors for temperature and touch. Discoveries of receptors for temperature and touch. And the work of the scientists is focused on field of somato sensation. Somato. Somato sensation. Very, very important somato sensation. So somato sensation is the ability of specialized organs such as eyes, ears and skin to see, hear and feel. Somato sensation. Somatic cells sensation. And the impression of temperature, touch, movement are feelings relying on somato sensation. So temperature, cast spicing from chili peppers were used to identify this. Uh, menthol was used to identify this receptor kind of thing. Okay, TRMP8 is the receptor. So somato sensation, somato sensation. For that work only, award is given. Okay, somato sensation. So important somato sensation. So that's all.